Tonight, several civic groups are reacting to a heated exchange in Tarrant County Commissioner's Court. As Scoop Jefferson reports from Fort Worth, they're upset over how Judge Tim O'Hare spoke to a female colleague. But I, I'm the one talking now, so you'll sit there and be quiet and listen no, while no, I talk, and then you, you can talk later. Me when you you and will have to talk. Those words from Tarrant County Commission Chair Jim Tim O'Hare are coming under fire. It happened during Commissioner's Court Tuesday after a heated exchange with fellow Commissioner Alyssa Simmons. The two had disagreements about an elected official's contract. I, I will run the court, you will no, not. No, look okay? at the board. I can see it. It was demeaning, uh, disrespectful, professionally inappropriate. Arlington NAACP President Reverend Kennedy Jones came to the defense of Simmons. During open comments for Commissioner's Court, he addressed what O'Hare said. It is demeaning and it is offensive to the people of Precinct 2. Now other local civic groups have weighed in. They joined the NAACP for a news conference outside Judge O'Hare's downtown Fort Worth office. That kind of attitude that demeans women, that takes them back to the time when they could not vote, they were right. considered as property of their husbands. And WFAA reached out to Judge O'Hare repeatedly for comment. We have not heard back from his administrative assistant who told us she would check his busy schedule. Simmons told us she does not want an apology, but... Who he does need to apologize to is the constituents for this level of behavior. Behavior, she says, should not happen among people elected to serve. In Fort Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson. The NAACP accused Judge Tim O'Hare of misogynistic and racialistic behavior toward Commissioner Simmons, but the judge just sent a lengthy response claiming Commissioner Simmons has a history of alleging unfounded racism. O'Hare says it's a sideshow created by Simmons and the focus should remain on the important issues facing the people of Tarrant County.